This is Marcus Kehoe, just 23 years old. He, along with a 22-year-old female, died suddenly during the night in Laurier Township of the Almaguin Highlands on New Year's Day. Ontario Provincial Police say that the cause of death is still under investigation. Authorities added that public safety is not a concern and foul play is not suspected. Marcus's sister Grace has set up a GoFundMe page. In under 24 hours, the fundraiser has raised over $14,000 of its $20,000 fundraising goal. Grace wrote, I honestly have no words. I'm Marcus's sister Grace and I am trying to raise money for a proper funeral for my brother. I can't say much as it is far too hard right now, but Marcus was the light in every room and he had touched so many lives in more ways than anyone could imagine. Heaven, an angel and I need your help to send him home. Marcus graduated Whittefield in 2015. After speaking with his sister Grace over the telephone on this Monday, I learned that she stayed an extra year at Whittefield so she could graduate alongside her brother. Longtime Whittefield principal Lisa O'Kane impacted her students profoundly, and Marcus was one of them. O'Kane offered this sentiment via messenger. Marcus was a force. He lived life to the fullest and with every ounce of his energy. We would often have great talks about life and his dreams. He made everyone around him laugh. He was a loyal friend and a loving brother. The world will miss him. On a personal note, I had the pleasure of coaching Marcus at Whittafield in the spring of 2014. While not the most talented player on the baseball team, Marcus approached every practice and every play on the field with full effort and a positive attitude. It was certainly a proud moment for the entire coaching staff when he took to the mound and pitched for the Wildcats. He and his Whittafield teammates finished runner-up that year. If you wish to contribute to the GoFundMe, search Marcus Kehoe's Celebration of Life, Marcus spelt with a K. The identity of the female who passed has not yet been made public. Reporting for Kojiko News, I'm Clark Heibel.